Hello and welcome everyone. It's Alpha Time and um, I have here with me the artist who made all the beautiful assets that you're going to test through Alpha 1. And we decided that it is probably helpful to give you some advice on the road here. So yeah, there you go. Let's get things started. Um, first question that comes up is what does Alpha mean? Well, Basically, it is a work in progress development build that we are doing right now. And um, the intention behind that is to test the environment that we have created to kind of make it battle tested and be sure that our foundations are solid. It's important for us to collect your feedback. And I think it's important to point out that it is work in progress that we are building upon. Right. Um, Kiara, what are the goals of our alpha? Yeah, so I think um, one of the reasons that you're watching this video is so that you understand what we are doing with this alpha. This is a technical alpha. So you guys are taking this and you are testing it. Uh, if you're looking to uh, open up uh, Project Deus in its alpha form and make beautiful maps, you can do it to some degree, but there's a lot going on in the alpha that is kind of placeholder and we're going to change things and, and things are basically in a very rough form. Uh, everything is open to change and everything is going to be, you know, you're going to give us feedback and we're going to iterate and all that good stuff. So the goal of this alpha is to get feedback from everybody. Okay, so if you're if you're watching this video, then give us feedback on what you what you like, what you don't like and all that kind of stuff. Um, Basically, all the stuff uh, that you're going to be looking at in this in this alpha is going to be based around how stable the build is, and uh, you know, getting bugs out and all the rest of it. And we're going to have a survey coming out very soon, maybe right after this video or in a few weeks after the the alpha releases, that you can then give us for your feedback. And you can also go on the Discord and you can give us feedback there. So that's what this video is about and that's what the technical alpha this alpha that you've got right here right now is going to be about yeah just to add to that basically what we what we have done is we have built this um the whole foundation behind um project days now we're going to add more and more features over the upcoming updates which means that it is very it is critical for us to understand if the foundations that we have built right now can stand all the all the hundreds of variations of, of, of systems out there and if they if they are like if they are on a solid foundation um and we have our testings in here but we're not a big company which means we don't have server farms where we can run the same build on hundreds and hundreds of different systems um so having your feedback and having all the things um that you experience um, brought back to us is a great help for us to improve and to probably revisit parts and see, okay, that's not working. Let's change that to have, again, a solid foundation. Yeah, and I think that brings us up to our next question, which is uh, what we what you guys can expect from the alpha. Um, now, the alpha in its in its roughest form still has a lot of cool features that you're going to be able to play around with. You know, the landmass tool is fantastic. You're going to be able to make some really massive worlds. Uh, also, you have the prop tool and, you know, there's assets galore that you can play with. But you can expect crashes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You there, there are going to be crashes. There are hopefully no major bugs, but there will be bugs um in some of the things so those are the kind of things that the team needs to know about so you need to submit the, the feedback and you need to tell uh till and you know the, the team the dungeon folk team what is happening uh when it crashes when it bugs out so they can fix it uh, so it doesn't happen again so that's you can expect those two things to happen um i think you should also be aware that what you like i said just a minute ago you should expect that this is not a finished deos program this is a technical alpha and i know a lot of people are used to uh games on steam like early access uh where they're mostly finished um uh, but they're just sort of ironing out some kinks and they're just trying to get that early access sort of crowd this is an old school alpha 
You know, this is not the finished version. There's a lot more to add. This is not going to be released in full for another year at least. Um, so bear that in mind when you're when you're when you're testing this and you're and you're getting all the uh, the feedback for us. Um, so there's not going to be a stable experience either. You know, like I said, there's going to be bugs. There's going to be crashes. Uh, you can expect that, and hopefully, it doesn't annoy you too much enough to give some feedback and to make some cool stuff. But you know, we're letting you know now. But we're you know letting you know. Um, and lastly, that uh, because this is an early access uh, sort of early alpha technical alpha that's really early on in development. Uh, there are going to be multiple iterations and alphas coming out and betas coming out. You might not be able to keep your maps that you're working on now. We, Dungeon Fog is going to try its very hardest as a company to keep everything secure and to make sure that you can you can keep all of your data and everything is going to be fine. So a map that you make today, um, you can work on again tomorrow. But that might not be possible because it's a technical alpha. We can't promise you that that is going to be the case. And in a further patch, something might break, something might change, something might be iterated on so that those kind of things are no longer available to load or, or something like that. So that's something else that um, that we're making you aware of right up front um, because that's the way development works. And uh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Yep. Um, so basically, the, the idea is, again, I think you've, you've summarized it quite perfectly. I can't really add anything to that apart from um, how do you contribute? Like, what is the yeah. feedback that we are requesting from you? So when you start the application for the first time, there is a big dialogue popping in your face that says, I give permission um, to Dungeon Fork to read my system settings, like the, the PC setup, what graphics card are you using? Um, what operation system are you running? Uh, stuff like that. So we're not we're not interested in anything apart from the requirements for Dungeon Fork, and that's all that we're collecting. But it helps us a lot. That is a very important tick box because every for every user that ticks that, we get the system that Dungeon Fork has been run on, which means that we can see all the different graphics cards, graphics cards drivers, RAM setup. Mm -hmm operation system is it windows 10 is it i don't know windows xp mm -hmm. um so we did we did start with this recommended um system like with a system recommendation but that is very roughly based on all the systems we ran it on and we need to narrow it down because a we need to learn where do we need to improve where do, where do our databases, where do our graphic drivers, our render engine, where is, where is optimization needed? And B, we need to understand how to measure this uh, um, recommended system requirements. Um, so that tick box is very important for us. The second thing is, um, although we're doing our best to avoid critical crashes, they are happening sometimes. Um, and we need to understand when they happen. We know some instances like uh, when they are WebGPU related because WebGPU is a very, very young development like library. So WebGPU isn't a finished software, it's still in development, but we were hoping by using it at the time Deus is finished, WebGPU is finished as well. So there are still some quirks working directly with WebGPU and graphics drivers. So this might be a reason why it crashes for you. Knowing that and getting the crash report will help us to identify where exactly the crash took place. Um, so whenever the application quits on you, you should get a crash reporter. And all you need to do is just restart. There are two buttons, restart or quit Dungeon Fork. In both instances, um, if you have ticked the submit log information uh, option there, then we will receive the crash report and we can then um, dive into it and understand why the application quit on you. Last, um, in the application itself, in the top left corner uh, is the menu and there you can report a problem, which means that if the UI is performing weirdly on your end, um, if you're placing a prop and it's not showing up, if you're scaling a lamp mass and it vanishes, I don't know what, Ever might happen there but if you are within the software and you find something where you feel like this isn't intended to happen 
then click on the report bug um, through the menu and write us a short description of what are you expecting or what are you experiencing and, and why did, what did you do. Submitting this will send us the map and the log information showing us what you did to reach that point. So again, this is very helpful for us to understand how you were working with the software in the first place. Um, because from a user experience side, it is currently it's our way of using the software, but we might very soon learn that you're using it completely <laughs> differently and we haven't prepped for that. Um, so to sum it up, um, give us permission to read your system, uh, your, your system setup information, um, send us your crash reports and um, report the problems. With that, we already have a lot of information that we can dive into and it will take, so we've set, we, we have said that from um, October 15th to November 15th, we will just collect. That's basically all we do. We have a few bugs and, and tickets that we want to close within the next update that we're releasing, but basically we're mainly collecting information. So by, I would say early November, we will also hand out a survey, a general experience survey where, we, where you can give us feedback, where you can tell us what you'd like to see improved, what you dislike, um, so we can learn from that. Um, the only request I have is please, if, if you're on our Discord, chat about the software, I'm happy with that. Just please don't post bug reports or crash mm. messages into our Discord. That's not helping me um, because we, we would have to manually collect them from Discord and paste them into our ticketing system, which what basically all, all our infrastructure is set up to do automatically. So use the tools that we provide. Don't post them on, I don't know, YouTube comments or, or on, <laughs> through social media. I don't know. I've, I've seen a lot of those things. And although it is, I know that it's intended to be helpful, it mainly just creates more work for us. So please use the crash reporter, the report a problem, um, and, and the feedback service that we're handing out because that really helps us to learn from the software. And yeah, and I, I, I will just quickly add on to just one, the final thing that Tilda said, uh, bug reporting and crashes and all the problems that you have with, with, with the program are different to feedback. So if you want to go on the Discord and you want to chat and say, oh, I, I think that this should work this way and I think that this UI should be different, all right? And you want to start a conversation with the dev team, with one of the artists, with, you know, just just about the things in general, that's perfect for the Discord. But specific yes. problems that you want us to, that you want Dungeon Fog to fix should be submitted through the official sort of bug reporting system. So we can, like Till said, you can collect it and sort through it. So exactly. that's the distinction there. In Discord we have, and if you haven't joined Discord, I would highly recommend it because we've also set up our wishing well. Um, which basically is exactly that. It is a system where you can submit feedback and for example, you could wish for features. Um, so that is meant to be for that. So there's a channel where you can discuss the current alpha, where you can help each other, um, where you can talk about cool new ideas, but also there is a specific suggestion area where you can suggest ideas that we will then again have in an automated way where we can sort through things, you can rate them and stuff like that. So um, there's a lot there to do. So just join us on Discord. Um, and with that said, Kaora, any last words? Yeah, I guess the only thing I really want to say, um, considering this is the launch of something that's taken uh, a few years to get off the ground, and this is the first iteration of it, and it's still going to be maybe like, a long time in the, in production. Thank you so much, everybody, for being so incredibly hyped and excited, and uh, just the amount of people that are just so eager and just oh, we want to get down. Oh, it's so good, uh, is amazing. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's it's really really amazing to every single time somebody says, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting there going, oh. <laughs> so yes, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you from my side too, from, from all the developers. Um, they are mostly tired at the moment. They, they are hoping that it, 
they get their break. That's absolutely fine. We have a Hull team um, that is going to deal with everything next week, but all my developers are going on a quick recreation break um, to, to just load up their batteries, but they're all really excited to hear the feedback. So I, I believe that we will be next week, we will be all sitting there and just reading through everything that's coming in. Um, and yeah, as always, you're hoping for the good reviews, but we know that it is early alpha and, and it, it is a technical alpha. So we are expecting um, crash reports and breaks and, and, and things like that. But again, this is helpful. This is why we're giving this out to you. And I'm already saying thank you to everyone for testing it thoroughly.